We can talk about social media in two ways. First of all, social media have created a new way of communication. We've been living in the more like an age of mass media. Mass media, we can talk about in terms of television, radio, cinema, and magazines. But well, those communications are based on more like a one-way street communication. Social media have changed the way we can communicate to each other. It is more interactive, mutual understandings. Therefore, social media have generated our mutual understanding between people and facilitated the new way of our experiences. And this new way of experiences, based on our mutual communication, also created new forms of culture. So we can think about this culture based on more mutual communication. Why this social media are very much popular in, especially in East Asia? Because it is based on new urban culture. The cities and the big metropolises like Tokyo, Shanghai and Seoul. They have a very well developed infrastructures and very massive scale of those uh, the urban landscapes. But they have a very well-developed cutting-edge uh, technologies now. For example, in South Korea, um, since 1997, South Korean government really made huge investment to facilitate and develop this uh, infrastructure of the communications technologies because they thought this is a more potentials in their own economies, creative industries and entertainment industries as well, not only the media industries. So those infrastructures based on well-developed advanced technologies have created kind of new culture, in particular urban culture, where a lot of people are engaged in the participation and this new uh, activities as well. So social media are uh, really important to create new forms of culture, probably more engaged, participatory, active uh, the culture. These cultures are based on different audiences as well. This, uh, probably in the age of mass media, audiences are more passive. They were given the information, images and news uh, stories as well. But now in the age of social media, people are more active not only audiences, but also users as well. They are creating stories by themselves and then propagating and dispersing these ideas whenever they want. So those are the new aspects of our media culture, we can say. And why it is really developed in East Asia? Because they have a different urban and technological context. The interaction between Latin American regions and Eastern Asians include more cultural flow. So we are not just talking about uh, selling and buying some of uh, the products. We are living in a very uh, massive scale of globalization. And this globalization includes very rapid and fast cultural interactions as well. For example, it's the South Korean uh, popular culture is very uh, well received in Latin America, especially Chile, Korean uh, pop music and cinemas and other cultural products as well. But we are not just uh, considering as a more trade. Now we are living in a global village. We need to understand each other and then we can make uh, some more uh, well-connected communities as well. For that purpose, we need to understand each other and it will facilitate our own uh, understanding as well as trade uh, relationships as well. So I think we need to a little bit change our perceptions about this global uh, economic relations and trade. It's not just about on one national interest, but it's more transnational, transnational exchanges and interactions. Therefore, we need to understand and then develop some more uh, close relationships based on our different cultures, but trying to find a more shared histories, experiences. I think it's Latin America, especially Chile, uh, has a lot of common with Korea too. South Korea also got through this uh, long period of military dictatorship, and then they completed 
the formal democratization, and then South Korea now reached very well developed post industrial societies. I think Chile, since 1973, uh, has got through this long period of military dictatorship, now completed and achieved very, very impressive democratization as well. So I think that uh, we share some kind of historical uh, uh, context too. And then those historical memories and common things are so important cultural basis we can share together. Based on those uh, foundations, we can actually move forward together and then build up the more uh, uh, mutual understandings and, and, and communications.